What's that? No, I don't mean December the 31st, 2012. That's a load of gibberish dreamt up by morons to sell books and get you to watch YouTube videos. No, I'm talking about the very, very real, very gonna happen, very certain reduction in human population to be caused by our own success. Uh, I mean, excess. Let's go straight to the top of the pops. There are enough nuclear installations on Earth to kill all life on the planet several times over and still leave enough radioactive material to kill the next few evolutionary steps. If you think that's alarmist, you're obviously not familiar with the nature of radioactivity or the stupidity of humanity. So, let's go over some of the facts. Plutonium is the most toxic element known to biological life. It doesn't occur naturally and humans are making more of it every day. Sounds stupid. That's cause it is. But wait! We wouldn't put this deadly substance into facilities that were poorly built, poorly located and poorly run, would we? You bet we fucking would. Though the mainstream media has long since abandoned the issue, the precarious situation at the Fukushima nuclear plant facility in Japan is only continuing to worsen, according to a prominent Japanese official. During a recent interview, Mitsui Murata, the former Japanese ambassador to both Switzerland and Senegal, explained that, that the ground beneath the plant's Unit 4 is gradually sinking and that the entire structure's on the verge of complete collapse. This is somewhat concerning, to put it mildly, as Unit 4 currently holds more than 1,500 spent nuclear fuel rods and a collective 37 million curies of deadly radiation that, if released, could make much of the world completely uninhabitable. Let's go over those figures again because they may seem confusing at first. The Fukushima plant in Japan contains enough deadly toxic material to destroy all life on Earth several times over. <laughs> you gotta laugh. Uh, but wait, there's more. If Unit 4 collapses, the worst case scenario will be a meltdown and a resultant fire in the atmosphere that will be the most unprecedented crisis man has ever experienced. Nobody will be able to approach the plants, which will have melted down and caused the big fire, said Murata. Many scientists say if Unit 4 collapses, not only will Japan lie in ruins, but the entire world will face serious damage. Holy shit! It's a good job there aren't any more of these ticking time bombs littered around the world. Uh, what's that? OMG! <laughs> there are 31 nuclear units of a similar type to Unit 4 in America and the American government has been downplaying the disaster. This is in fact the primary reason why so little has been reported on the severity of Fukushima following the disaster. The American Empire, in other words, does not want the world nor the American people to know that there is the possibility of literally dozens of Fukushima situations occurring on American soil. Nice. And there will be much more on that story for many years to come. The Los Alamos National Lab, in conjunction with uh, the Japanese government, has placed uh, units one and two Fukushima. They place muon detectors, and they plan on using external. They're using cosmic rays, basically, as a light source. And the muon detectors will, will, as you, as you, uh, as, as you correctly put, the, they will look for a shadow, and the shadow will be the molten fuel that's underneath, because because uranium. Uh, yeah, in other words, they, cosmic rays collide with the atoms in the upper atmosphere and whip through the Earth. And what you'll see with the muon detectors, you'll see a shadow where those muons are being absorbed by the radioisotopes and they're not being, uh, they're not being in the sense, deflected. So you're going to see a shadow where there's a corium underneath there, right? And, and what, it, what it means, to, well, but if they have to go to such measures, it means that they're expecting to find this stuff very deep into the ground. Otherwise, there would be no reason to use this kind of technology unless they want to do just some kind of an experiment.